the 37th Annual Classical Music Festival, a celebration of the music of Franz Josef Haydn in Eisenstadt, Austria. Instrumental and vocal performers have been making a musical pilgrimage to Eisenstadt and Vienna since 1975. Artistic director and principal conductor, Dr. Richard Zelensky, gives us a preview of this year's festival repertoire. Well, this year at the Classical Music Festival, which will be in Eisenstadt, Austria, the home of Joseph Haydn, we're going to be concentrating on three major works. One is the creation, Die Schöpfung, that he wrote late in his life. But this is a unique presentation of the creation. We're doing it as a fully staged ballet. This will be the, the Austrian premiere of Haydn's creation as a ballet. The second uh, piece that we'll be focusing on, larger work, is the Mass in C Major by Ludwig van Beethoven. Uh, the history behind this piece is that in 1806, Haydn was quite old at that time, and for that year, Prince Esterhazy hired Beethoven to come down from Vienna to Eisenstadt to be the interim Kapellmeister, and one of the duties was to write a Mass for the princess's wife's name day. So Beethoven wrote this Mass for uh, the Esterhazy family to be performed at the Bergkirche, or the, the church of the town, in early December on the name day uh, of the uh, prince's wife. The third piece that uh, we'll be focusing on is, an, is another piece by Joseph Haydn, and it's Symphony Number no. 45 in F Sharp Minor. Now, the interesting history of, with this piece of music that many people know is the Farewell Symphony, which was named, uh, many of these names, Surprise Symphony, Farewell Symphony, and so forth, were named later. These were not the names that Haydn put on, the, on his compositions. But at this time, the Prince uh, Esterhazy had moved the palace workers and the musicians were part of that down to a, a, a winter palace which was in Hungary, in Fertuk, Hungary, which was you know, quite a ways away from Esterhazy, that's with a Y, and they called the place in Hungary Esterhaza. Now you have to realize that this took people away from their families, they moved the workers and so forth down to southeast of Eisenstadt, Austria, which was even further away from Vienna. So Haydn, uh, in his brilliant way of, of uh, composing pieces, wrote this symphony number no. 45, where at the end of the symphony, everybody slowly plays their part and then walks off a stage where it finally just ends up with a violin player and a cello player. The message he was trying to get across, he being uh, uh, Haydn, was to tell the prince that we'd really like to go back home to Eisenstadt and go back to the Esterhazy Palace where our family and friends are. Uh, it's a brilliant kind of commentary, a little bit of a protest by Haydn, kind of poking fun, but also trying to send a message that it's time to go back to the palace uh, that we, uh, where our family and our friends live in, in, in Eisenstadt. There'll also be a, a variety uh, of performances, smaller performances throughout the festival. There's chamber music concerts, recitals, lectures. We have groups coming from the University of Oklahoma, uh, Houston Baptist University, we should have, I think, the largest group of artists at the festival in the in the 37 year history. We should have over 200 artists, and we're talking about uh, the orchestra players, the soloists, the chorus, and we have the festival ballet uh, of Oklahoma there as well to perform Haydn's creation uh, at the gala concert, which is a part of the Haydn Festspiel. Should be a fabulous year. We're very excited to be able to take all these folks to this home of Joseph Haydn to really learn about uh, not only his music and the style of the music and the performance practice of his music, but also uh, you get to live in the surroundings and you live in the town. It's only 13, 14,000 people in Eisenstadt and, and you get a sense of, of, uh, of this beautiful uh, town where, where Haydn and, and, and his band of professionals, which he called his musicians, in the orchestra and in the chorus uh, where they lived and where they performed for the Esterhazy family. The 37th Annual Classical Music Festival. We'll see you in Eisenstadt.